Hi everyone, so let's take a look on to these helper classes which we are using from the Tailwind and that gives us more clarity. So you remember we were using shadow for this box element, you can see and we were using shadow large, shadow large and here, here you can see shadow XL, shadow large. So that will give you the appropriate behavior, right? So these are like helper classes once you use it once, you will remember okay how to put a shadow onto a particular box. Right, shadow inner, shadow none, shadow large, and this is how you can configure it in the Tailwind config also, and then you can start using them. So there are some default which you can use without even changing anything. But if you want some custom behavior, then you can apply. You can add the box shadow inside Tailwinds. We have also done in our couple of previous videos. We were putting the font size, font families, and all in our tailwind configuration because that will get populated and we'll talk about the border and tailwind provides really nice uh, documentation border width right so here you can here you can see i was trying to apply border 2 which indirectly says border width 2 pixel 4 pixel 8 pixel right this is the mapping and if you want to just put a border on a particular side then border bottom border right border left border top border t right all these things can be applied border zero only border border indigo so it's like a border with one pixel and the indigo is the color border two pixel this is the color right so border color palette so this is already configured in your color color palette like we were doing text and the color name with the palette text indigo 600 bg indigo 600 similarly the border and the color and the palette name okay individually you can apply it border and then side so you might have used bootstrap and that also applies the same thing like uh, it also provides the the helper classes but i will say that tailwind is actually uh, on top of that something really uh, totally different you don't even need to write any styles because everything is there you can type your own configurations okay so you can see if you wanted to divide a particular nodes, you don't need to put the border bottom to each and every element, then you can say divide Y. With what? Divide Y with the light blue border. Okay, responsiveness and all you can check. And these are the border widths. You can also customize it. Okay, by default Tailwind provides a border width utility and the same number of utilities like top, bottom, left and all. You can add, change, remove, edit. So in some projects you will see tailwind config is like like very huge because they have configured it you can add your own configurations like uh, tailwind doesn't provide the for the border three border six but you can add it three will be three pixels six will be six pixels like border style dotted solid dashed all these are border style and that color also you can specify and the same thing you can configure in the tailwind border width border color all these things are I'm, I'm really liking like how to use the tailwind styles i don't need to write anything border four pixel okay the border is light blue and the opacity also you can specify so border width border color box shadow this is also we have already done like we are applying the uh, shadow large and then we are also applying the border radius uh, here it is so here you can say to apply the border radius what we are doing is if you remember our class name we were using uh, we were using this rounded excel to apply a radius border radius to a particular box so i mean in generally in the css we say border radius right here you are using going to use rounded if you say rounded full i think rounded full means it will have a border radius i'm not sure if it is there yes here it is rounded full means it will put the circle okay it will just put the circle if you put a rounded ellipse then it will be like this okay no rounding means rounded none it will be square and you can just specify a border or particular direction like rounded top rounded bottom rounded left rounded right rounded bottom and I really like this. This is how you can specify. And in our example for that uh, for the card component, we were using rounded large. You can also use any kind of 
uh, border radius. I mean, I need a border radius of 1.75, uh, then I need to use board rounded Excel. Okay, what else we can take a look? I mean, this is a documentation. I'm not going to use it to in the video, but here you can actually also add the transition property. Like transition duration of 500 is in out. Like this is one. So all the custom animations through the CSS can be also applied through the Tailwind classes like durations, delay and animations. And the transform logic like the rotation, scale and uh, all these things which are happening through the CSS if you wanted to rotate a particular element like this. You can also do this and on the hover effect whenever you do hover. Okay. I will talk about background color. Right. So we already have these palettes. There are some specified palettes like BZ, Gray, 100, 200, 300. These are actually defined palettes by Tailwind. But if you wanted to customize it, then you can come here and you can actually add the background colors. Customize your color palettes using theme.color. Okay. So theme.color, we, we were also using theme.colors and we specified all the colors and their palettes. And if you wanted to show some primary, secondary and ternary as a background color, right? So you can use like primary. So I think we are using BG primary or something. So if you wanted to use background color variant, so here what we specified is there are three variants we are specifying primary, secondary and danger. These are also your background color. So you will specify them BG primary, BG secondary, BG danger. Otherwise, if you have defined the color palette, it will be BG gray and either 100, 200, 300, right? And background opacity, background uh, image. This is also good like uh, background image and you can also specify the linear gradient. We know how much we struggle by for putting the linear, linear gradient when we are writing the vanilla CSS. But, but here we you can specify. Okay, background color. Text color, same as the background color. You can also specify the color palette. Text gray, text red, text green. And this is how you will specify text, color name and the palette width, palette width which is like 100, 200 and all. You can also specify the same in the color palette. So you can actually use the same color palette which you put for the background. Same can be used for the text color because we are using themes.colors. Or you can also specify the text color like background color. Similarly, you can also add on another property text color. And you can use them and these are the hover property like on the hover property or focus this is how it will look like and you can also specify the change in the behavior for the medium when you do the focus text will become red on the medium uh, the default is text gray okay so tailwind is like customized totally customized you can actually play with any kind of properties like uh, underline line through no underline and also you can specify the, the color properties and you can, you can actually change a particular style for different breakpoints in the same styles with no underline MD underline or X, XSM underline and the other custom properties when you do the hover initially no underline when you do the hover underline and you can also specify the, the underline on a particular responsive grid default it is not underlined okay let's try it font size font size let's see this is like these are the default fonts font sm font base using text okay and you can also customize it something like this like i have added a 7 xl 1 xl 2 xl lg base these are the defaults provided by Tailwind and you can also customize it then it will start using adopting this you can say text LG text Excel text to Excel text 3 Excel that specifies the font size of the text and we have used it like text base is the font size base for the default screen but for the medium text looks large text LG and this is how we are specifying the font size 
font style font weight font weight is a normal medium semi bold bold extra bold you can also specify them in the font weight grid so i mean you can keep your tailwind configuration very light but in that case you have to use only the font weights provided by tailwind if you wanted to use customized version like i wanted to use extra bold extra semi bold uh, semi bold bold in that case you have to customize it and you have to put that inside a font weight object line spacing line height line height is simple like leading leading is used for line height line height like default compressed leading 1 2 leading 10 leading loose this is the class we were using for the text if you remember background size background color text opacity text color all these styling properties now important is width height we are going to cover last and then we are done width because a lot of places like i wanted to put image width i wanted to put div width margin is auto but i wanted to say okay this card component should cover only this much width right so what i need to use i need to provide min width to this card otherwise this card is taking the whole full width right so for that i need to use these classes you have to put the min width or you can actually use these classes okay w3 w0 till uh, w min w max okay so these are the numbers and you can also specify in a two particular divs if this is a flex then what should be the proportion of these two divs 1 by 4 3 by 4 1 by 5 4 by 5 okay you can specify the widths min width property because this is what we were using right min w min this we used in our card component so what is the min width we specified it what is the max width we specified it so min w full means it is taking the the full width which is equal to i think width 100 percent but when you wanted to make it responsive min width full and this is how it will scale similarly the max width what is the max width is going to be so inside uh, if i remember the card component we were using uh, max width extra small so let's see this max width extra small is this we were using because we want max width to be 24 ram rem because we want our this width is 24 relative amps right so this is the max width means this div is going to be this already a margin auto and this is the max width so it will not go beyond that and similarly min width max width similarly there is a min height and max height h auto so it's like height is auto based on h screen that is h screen means it is equal to the viewport height viewport width h screen and h width i think we used this in our code uh, inside our app.js so you are using a min h screen okay so let's see this min h screen what it is doing minimum height min h screen means minimum height is the vertical height because we don't have anything we just can put uh, this is the outer div the body it can have a minimum height 100 vertical height similarly the the max height or the min width max width so these are important the sizing similarly the font families if you wanted to add some custom fonts these are some default fonts which are provided right but it's not going to work we have to add some additional fonts right so you always can add the font family and display and body you can specify these array formats okay these are the different fonts you have and how to apply these fonts same as the i here we are applying font sense font speech so font underscore font name and font name you have already specified here font sense font serif font mono font display font body okay so font h1 font body font paragraph font body or you can specify different font families and you can use them same way here these are the defaults you can specify your own font family like roboto uh, you want to mono or some some other font you wanted to use and this is like array format if this is applied 
otherwise it will fall back to this one okay font style font weight uh, I will just talk about flex only and then we are done because flex is important we are using flex everywhere if you don't know how the the flex item works then take a look onto the flex box first and then come back here so this is flex none okay flex auto one one auto automatically it will uh, scale automatically so if you do if you see how we apply the flex class you just need to add a flex and then you can actually apply the classes inside it so flex one what flex one does is it will allow you to grow and scale based on the item width right flex auto one one auto right so flex one is this and then flex auto flex auto allow you to flex item to grow and shrink taking into account of initial size based on that only it will allow you to grow and i mean scale so this is the default behavior but when you do the flex auto it will it will grow and scale automatically but flex one i think flex one is going to give you the equal width space whatever your initial proportion you had like one is to one is to three it will ignore that and it will give you the equal width equal opportunity to grow all the three three divs inside it so flex flex one it means you can grow equally and flex auto it will consider the initial size and it will give you the opportunity to scale based on the initial size flex none okay flex none means to prevent a flex item from growing or shrinking oh that's great so whenever you actually try to shrink it shrink the size or try to widen the size there will be no impact on the flex because it's not going to grow and shrink and here also you can see on the default it is flex none but on the medium it will it will become flex one that means it is going to make all the item sequels on the, the medium screen and you can customize it flex auto flex one flex none flex initial flex inherit flex two two is two is two two is two zero one is one is two one is two zero okay then you can also have a c you can also use css grid justify content because we used it a lot so justify start justify and justify center justify between justify around justify eventually this is justify item uh, i mean when you do display flex justify content is the property which you can specify either justify center justify between justify around right so flex justify start all these will be aligned in the start this will be aligned in center justify center is mostly we used even in this demo example we were using justify center justify and then justify between i mean between all the elements there will be enough space justify around means around every div there will be a space and justify even evenly means there will be even space in the axis on the horizontal axis and you can add the responsiveness in the small screen or default screens it will be justify start but on the medium screen it will become justify between justify center that is common okay so i'm stopping here but you can take a look onto the documentation of uh, tailwind I, I already shared a project and you can play with any of the simple layouts so what i will do is in the next video i will cover one more uh, simple template uh, we will build a simple template using tailwind and from there you can take care of working with the tailwind.